Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the Team Planner view, Timeline view and the Tracking Gantt view. Let me take you to the next slide. Now, in our previous video, we have already discussed the first six views that is from calendar till resource form view. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about Team Planner, Timeline and Tracking Gantt. Before we move on to the practical, let me give you a small introduction of each view. Talking about the very first one that is a team planner view. In team planner view, all the task related information can be seen in a detailed manner. If I take my mouse in the team planner view to a particular task, it will show that when that particular task is starting, when it is ending, whether it is auto schedule or manually schedule and rest of the details. Moving on with the next one is the timeline view. As we have already know what is a timeline in our previous video, in this view I can see the project progress in a timeline. And moving on with the next one is the tracking and view. This view is basically used to track the project progress and tell me the detailed information about my project progress. Let's try to understand all this view in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to talk about the Team Planner view, Timeline view and Tracking Gantt view in Microsoft Project 2013. I'm sure guys that you must be aware that where I can find this view, it will be under the Task tab and under the Task tab, I will go to this drop down menu of Gantt chart and I can see the rest of the views. Uh, in my previous video, I have already covered the calendar, Gantt, network, resource sheet, resource usage and resource form. In this particular video we are going to talk about team planner timeline and tracking Gantt. so let's start with the team planner view so what happens in team planner view let's try to understand I'll click on team planner view uh, now the layout of my screen has changed a bit if you see on my left hand side I can see the resource name I have unscheduled task unassigned task and on the right hand side of my screen I can see all the tasks which are being involved in my project right so basically let's try to understand what are these bars and how they are being arranged now if I go on requirement gathering if I take my hover my mouse out there you can see all the details for requirement gathering can be seen in the white box right below it right so I have the task mode whether it's auto schedule or manually schedule the start date and the finish date duration percentage work complete and percentage right and we have have the work how many hours has been in assigned to it right that says 27 hours remaining hours as well it also have a constraint type which says as soon as possible right so I have given it a constraint that it should be starting as soon as possible now if you go on the top of the menu you can see there is a team planner tool now if you have the normal chart uh, the no normal view that is a Gantt chart view out here I can see as a Gantt chart tool now as I have selected team planner view it is giving me the option for team planner tools so I'll click on this format menu and let's see what are the options which I have out here uh, if I go to the expand resource rows which I can see on the show group show and hide group if I click on this resource will expand and it will collapse similarly it has a window for unassigned task and assign unscheduled task let me check what ha happens if I click here now if you see on the bottom of my screen I can see there are some changes right similarly Similarly, if I click on the unscheduled task on the left hand side like out here, it will come and it will go away. Right. So what is this unassigned task? These are tasks which have been not assigned. There is no resource which is being assigned to it and that is the reason it is showing under the unassigned task. Now similarly, these are the tasks which on which I have assigned some resources. Now SMEs is taking care of the master plan, business analyst is taking care of requirement gathering and business analysis. My engineer is, um, resource is taking care of the development strategies, right? So out here I can get a basic understanding that what are the resources available with me and what are the tasks under under their uh, tab right so basically it is showing me the resource and their consecutive task all right moving on guys uh, with the next view that it says about the timeline view right so if I want to go to the timeline view I again I'll go to the task tab I'll go to this drop down menu I'll click on timeline the moment I click on timeline I guess uh, you guys must be aware what is a timeline in Microsoft 
project 2013 you can see under the Gantt chart if I go here if I click on this Gantt chart drop down menu I'll go on Gantt chart uh, right above here I can see the Gantt chart as of now it's not there because I have to go to the view tab and I have to click on this checkbox the moment I click on this checkbox it gives me the timeline right so let's try to understand it a little bit more I will go here under the task tab I'll click here and I'll say timeline now so I have the timeline out here so what does this timeline says it says the same thing uh, which we which we seen previously it shows me the detailed Gantt chart view uh, I'm sorry a detailed timeline view in which I can see my today's date the start date of my project let me scroll on the left hand side it, uh, it has the start date of the project when it will be starting if I go on the extreme right it shows me the finish where, when it will be finishing at what time and I can also see the milestone that have achieved in this timeline itself which is represented by a small black diamond alright guys so basically this view give me an option how the uh, schedule is going whether it's going on a proper form uh, on a proper scale like on a proper timeline whether it has been completed its given task in a given frame right so this is showing me how much the task has been completed and rest of the details now let me go to this format tab under this timeline tool and let's see the option that we have now if, if I go to the very first one that says existing task let's see what happens I'll click on this existing task now out here I can have the detailed view or if I want if let's say that I just want the identity task to be mentioned so I'll uncheck all this uh, not if I things which I'm not required right so I'm unchecking I do not want completion of planning phase deliveries correction of errors I don't want all these things I just want identify the major sub task of project life cycle and I'll say I, I want the closure as well and I hit OK now see you see you can see the changes now it is not a detail but it is a little bit less information and a small timeline can be seen right on my screen right if I want to zoom it I can use the zoom bar out here I can zoom in I can I can zoom in by using this I can zoom out using by this minus sign right also I want to share you one more thing that is uh, I can copy this timeline to various other methods so if I go on this drop down box it says for email for presentation and full size so if I click on for email it uh, copies the timeline on your email message box where you can type the message and share it with your colleagues or with your uh, superiors or your managers right it can be also used for presentation purpose if I want to show this the progress of my project in a presentation I will click on for presentation so this will get copied on your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation alright guys so this was about the detailed timeline right so moving on with my next view that is my tracking Gantt view let me click on this tracking Gantt now my tracking Gantt is little bit familiar as I can see this is my table and on my right hand side I can see the Gantt chart view but the only difference in this is that I can see the percentage of work complete of each and every task I can see the critical task as well the non-critical task and I can see the amount of work they have finished so far right let me go on this format tab it will again show me the same set of menu Gantt chart tools it has the same set of menus right for timeline if I go under the Gantt chart tool it is showing me the same set of information that it has shown for Gantt chart as well so the tool of the format option for Gantt chart tool does not change under the Gantt tracking Gantt alright guys so this was about tracking Gantt which helps me to show the percentage completion of my particular task uh, also I want to share with you some of the more views that I have under this uh, Gantt chart drop down box I'll click on more views and if I go under this more views you can see there are various other views which I can see under this Gantt chart if I click on any of the views if I want let's say uh, relationship diagram or network diagram I can click here and just hit apply it will change its view and it will give me the desired view so let me get back to my basic that is my Gantt chart view so this was all about the views that is my team planner view timeline view and tracking Gantt view